At this moment, we have not able to confirm successful landing on the lunar surface. It's not the outcome Our Japanese firm iSpace was hoping MCC for. Is... It wanted to be the first private company to complete a successful lunar landing. But despite the setback, iSpace is optimistic. The journey began in December, when a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket blasted off from Cape Canaveral in Florida, carrying a lander called the M1. Vehicles pitching down range. It's taken five months for the craft to get into position. The M1 lander traveled around 1.5 million kilometers away from Earth before looping back towards the moon. This longer, slower route saved on fuel and allowed it to carry more cargo. One of the items on board is a small rover from the United Arab Emirates. Long term, companies are hoping to turn these moon missions into business opportunities. There's a few different incentives for companies to land on the moon. Some of it is mining access. There are some valuable minerals on the moon that companies would really like to exploit. Um, some companies want to get there for defense purposes, kind of in preparation for maybe humans expanding to the moon. And then some companies have at least a little bit of a scientific exploration aspect to it. They want to learn more about the moon. That's generally something, though, where the funding is coming from a government agency working with these companies rather than a company kind of proactively deciding they would like to explore the moon for scientific purposes. It has been working tirelessly to get ready for this day. iSpace says this is just the beginning. It's planning more missions to the moon, one as early as next year. Other companies are also likely to accelerate their efforts as the lunar surface looks set to become the new frontier. Fenton Monaghan, Al Jazeera.